God bless you, everyone. We're so thankful to the Lord for his blessings, for his favor upon us. And uh, we are participating in the morning worship service of Christian Temple Worship Center here uh, in Irving, Texas. Uh, we are just really uh, feeling the uh, move of God in a special uh, uh, feel that he gives us in knowing that he is present, knowing that he is on our side, and knowing that he is bringing uh, deliverance uh, to his people today. Uh, I want to talk to you from John chapter 4 uh, as we finish getting situated here. All right, John chapter 4 and verses 49 through 51. The New Living Translation says this, the official pleaded, Lord, please come now before my little boy dies. Then Jesus told him, go back home. Your son will live. And the man believed what Jesus said and started home. While the man was on his way, some of his servants met him with the news that his son was alive and well. The subject today is believe what Jesus says. Amen. Believe what Jesus says. As stated last week, John's gospel urges people to believe on Jesus, the Messiah, the Son of God, and the giver of eternal life. Yeah. Jesus, the Messiah, is the anointed one who is sent by God to proclaim the kingdom's gospel, to free the oppressed, and to give his life for others. As the Son of God, Jesus is the one who is close to God, performs the mighty works of God, and provides the supreme revelation of God himself. As the giver of eternal life, uh, he initiates the forgiveness of sins, baptizes believers with the Holy Spirit, and provides salvation for all who turn to God by faith in him. Now, John includes seven miracles in his gospel that clarify Jesus' mission and authority while revealing God's character and purpose. <clears throat> Chapter two and four describe two of the miracles, the turning of water into wine and the healing of the nobleman's son. They both illustrate Jesus' power over nature and sickness. He is the one sent by God and the one in whom we should believe. Nicodemus declares his faith in whom Jesus is when he says, we know that you are a teacher come from God. No man can do these miracles that you do except God be with him. We likewise are convinced by Jesus' identity and by what he has said and done. We are all in on what the Lord has said and how he continues to speak and sow into our lives today. We are insistent, we are determined to believe and to act on what Jesus says. Uh, after completing the campaign in Samaria, in the earlier part of chapter four, uh, Jesus returns to Galilee. John says that the Galileans received Jesus, having seen the things that he had done. And I stress that they received him because of what they saw him do. They were seemingly impressed by his mighty works and popularity. On many occasions, the people followed him just to see what he would do next. It's too bad that some people only loosely follow the Lord. They are not willing to make the commitment beyond just keeping up with what Jesus does. 
It's truly a blessing to connect with Jesus. It is even better to believe in him as Savior and Lord. Jesus' mighty works should lead you to full faith in the Lord. We should go progressively higher in him. We should grow uh, progressively to the point that we are so connected that there is no turning around. We believe in Christ. We believe in what he stands for. We believe in what he is able to do uh, in your life. Now, the King James Version refers to this man as the noble man. Uh, the text that I read from New Living Translation refers to him as the official. Now, noble man was a term that was used to uh, really to say that this man was of exalted rank, uh, that he had some level of authority, he had some ability in which he is recognized as a person uh, who is a, a, a noble man. And so when you think about uh, this term, also it goes further to describe the nobleman of that time as people who either represented a very wealthy family or a person who was the head of a wealthy family or someone who has been appointed uh, in some way by the Roman government or someone who uh, himself uh, is uh, acting on behalf of another. And so the nobleman's miracle and its impact provides an example of how faith grows. Mm -hmm. yes. The official hears that Jesus has arrived in Galilee and he seeks Jesus for his son's healing. He believes that Jesus is a healer. Yes. He informs Jesus that his son is sick and will possibly die if he is not delivered. So he asks Jesus to make the trip home with him. Uh, Jesus responds with a statement uh, to him and to the bystanders. Except you see signs and wonders, you will not believe. The official sidestep Jesus' comment and asked Jesus again to go with him. I believe that this was a moment that was so critical that uh, he deflected uh, the words of Jesus in respect to people just being there to see miracles. Because what this official needed was a miracle for his son. Yeah. He needed his son to be made whole. He was not just there to see the fireworks. He was not just there to see the amazing sights. He was not just there to hear the enthusiasm of the audience, but he was determined to find healing for his son. So he goes on and asks Jesus again to go with him. Uh, he displays the passion of a father who knows what Jesus can do. Uh -huh. And I believe that there's some times that you need to know what Jesus can do. Yeah, right. There's some times that you need to understand that in the present moment, mm. the Lord is able. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's able to do more than you can ask or even think. Yeah. Here's the passion of a father who knows what Jesus can do. And he wants Jesus' help before it is too late. Yeah. Now Jesus instructs the official to go back home. Your son lives. Now for some of us, that statement would not have been enough for just to hear Jesus say, go back home. Uh, your son is alive. For some of us, we would have had questions. For some of us, uh, we would have been asking, are you sure? Uh, for some of us, we would have been asking, uh, can you uh, being here, heal my son who is miles away. Uh, we would have been asking questions about just go home. That I mean, after I've traveled as far as I have traveled and I get to see you and all you can tell me is go back home. 
and that everything will be all right. Well, John says that the man believed what Jesus said, yes. and he started home. <laughs> Amazingly, you can almost picture uh, this man is not uh, filled with doubt. He's not questioning the process. He's not questioning the procedure. But when Jesus says, go back home, uh, he believes and he starts walking. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Uh, this man believed indeed. Uh, first, he believed that he could ask or convince Jesus to save his son. I believe sometimes in our prayers, we have to believe in our prayer. We have to believe that we can ask him for anything. Yes. We have to believe that God is on the throne and that he has the power yes. to make a difference in your life. Yes. This man believed if I can get to Jesus, he can save my son. Yes. If I can get to Jesus, everything will be all right. Secondly, they tell us about his faith that he believed that if Jesus came home with him, that his son would recover. Now this man was very specific in the sense that he had the plan that I'm gonna ask Jesus to go home with me uh, so that my son would, uh, will be healed. Uh, sometimes we like miracles and, and the work of God to happen in a certain way. We've already schemed it out. Okay, Lord, this is how you're gonna do it. Uh, we've already determined that this is how God is going to work uh, on your behalf. Now, it's nothing wrong with having the belief uh, that I can ask him to come home with me, and it will happen. But at the same time, your faith ought to be flexible enough to know that God can do this anyway and anyhow. Oh, yeah, not to limit it him to a, a kind of miracle that only comes in the way we expect it. Yeah. To not limit him in the process because the bottom line is that we just want our son to be healed. Uh, now he believed Jesus' message. Uh, when you get home, your son will be alive and well. Yeah. Uh, on his way home, the official received confirmation that his son was well. Uh, he found out that the boy recovered at the very moment that Jesus spoke the word. Can you imagine this little deja vu moment, this moment of saying, now you saying my son is okay? Wait a minute, when did that happen? When did he recover? Uh, the servants told him about the time that uh, his son had recovered. The man thought back again. That was when I was with Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. That's at the very moment that he yeah. spoke yeah. and told me to go home yeah. because yeah. your son is alive. Yeah. Oh yeah, he found out uh, and he believed not only uh, because of the recovery of his, of his son, but he believed that Jesus uh, can just speak a word. Yeah. Yeah. And it will happen. Yeah. I believe in your prayer life. You've got to understand that as you relate to God in your prayer life, that surely you want to petition him and surely you want to make known the thing that you need done. Uh, but we must understand that God uh, has a broad reach, uh, that God has the ability uh, to do what no man can do. Yes. Uh, that God is able uh, to strengthen his people yes. and yes. give you the resolve that everything is going to be all right. Uh, this official walk home with confidence and understanding that what Jesus said uh, is the real deal. The Lord is challenging you to believe his word today. Uh, his word has gone out and it will not return void. Yes. What the Lord says will come to pass. Yes. The nobleman knew that because Jesus said it, uh, everything uh, will be all right. Because Jesus spoke it, 
uh, all we have to say is amen. Uh, because the word has gone forth, uh, we can be assured in ourselves uh, that God has covered uh, us as we have requested. Uh, sometimes you just have to rest on the Lord's word and promise. Uh, he will let you know with a still small voice uh, that all is well. Yeah. Oh yeah, he'll let you know that you can walk in the assurance and walk in your faith uh, because it's already done. Uh, he will settle your spirit, uh, remove all doubts, yeah. and send you on your way. Uh, in the moment that God speaks, uh, it is done. Uh, the official didn't question the Lord any further or ask how it was going to happen. Uh, he just marched on by faith. Yeah. And I know that there are times in your life that you don't know what the outcome is going to be, but you're believing God anyhow. Yeah. You're believing that he will show up uh, in your life. Uh, uh, you're believing that some way, somehow, that God will fix it. We used to sing the song, Trouble uh, in My Way. I have to cry sometimes, but uh, that's all right because as I lay and wake at night, I'm encouraged that Jesus will fix it uh, after a while. Oh yeah, we have that determination that we're going to march on in faith. Uh, we learn here that Jesus accomplishes some things through your faith and through your obedience. Uh, he uh, performs mighty works uh, based on your faith uh, and your obedience to him. Uh, he demonstrates his power and glory in situations just like these. The door is open for you to believe that all things are possible. The door is open for you to receive the grace and mercy of God. The door is open for God to turn things around for you. Oh yeah, you can make a genuine commitment to follow him all the way. Uh, you can make a genuine commitment to stand on his word and stand on his promises. Uh, you can make that deep down commitment that I'm going to march in faith because God has spoken. Uh, God has given me the inkling. Uh, God has given me the word. Uh, God has saturated my spirit uh, with an assurance uh, that I know, that I know, that I know uh, that it is working out right now. Uh, sometimes when you're dilemma, uh, you don't necessarily look uh, for signs. You don't necessarily look uh, for proof that it is done. But sometimes you have to get on out there uh, by faith when you don't see what you want to see. When you don't hear what you want to hear. You got to get on out there by faith and know that it is done. Oh yeah, your commitment to follow the Lord uh, leads you down the path of faith. Uh, your faith grows exponentially when you believe what Jesus says. Uh, you believe by calling on Jesus and knowing that he will uh, answer you. Uh, he makes ways out of no way. Uh, the nobleman believed Jesus and after the miracle occurred, the Bible says that the nobleman and his whole family uh, believed in Jesus. Oh uh, yeah, they believed to the point uh, that they just didn't believe uh, he was a miracle worker, but they believed that he was the Christ. Uh, they believed that he was the one uh, who sent by God. Uh, they believed that he is the Lord and Savior. Uh, their faith became a family affair. Uh, their faith became a moment when everybody uh, in the household can join together 
and say, we believe God. Uh, we believe God will do uh, what he says. Uh, trust and obey because uh, there's no other way. Uh, I, I believe, I believe God. Uh, it's great when you have praying families. Uh, uh, it's great when you have people uh, under the same roof that can get together uh, uh, and believe God together. Uh, it's great uh, when you have some uh, that's willing to say let's pray folk uh, uh, let's pray family uh, because God is able uh, to work on our behalf uh, it's good that somebody uh, uh, sometimes it's the little child uh, that says mama daddy can we pray uh, uh, sometimes uh, it's the situation uh, that is so adverse uh, that the only thing you feel to do in the moment uh, is to pray uh, it's a great thing uh, when people can unite uh, uh, in faith uh, and call on the name of the Lord. Uh, uh, we need some praying people today. Uh, uh, we need some folk uh, who are leaning uh, and depending on Jesus. Uh, uh, we need some folk uh, that know how to get a prayer through. Uh, uh, we need some folk uh, that don't mind encouraging one another uh, and saying, God, we uh, uh, make a way somehow. Uh, uh, they'll encourage you uh, uh, in your faith. Uh, they'll encourage you uh, uh, in your determination. Uh, uh, they'll encourage you uh, to believe uh, on the name of the Lord. Uh, allow God to come in uh, and make it uh, a family affair. Uh, I'll make it uh, until you can kneel before God uh, as one family uh, and say, Lord, uh, I help us uh, and bless us. Uh, I can't do it as here. Uh, it's wonderful uh, uh, when you as one family uh, can say, Lord, uh, uh, we call on you. Uh, because you're able uh, to bless us right now. Uh, uh, we need uh, uh, your help uh, uh, right now. Uh, uh, we need uh, uh, you to lift our burdens uh, and to drive away, drive away uh, uh, all of our fears. Uh, uh, we need you uh, to come on in uh, uh, the room right now. Uh, uh, can the witness here? Uh, uh, I remember uh, uh, when they sung the song, uh, uh, let us sing uh, until the power uh, of the Lord uh, uh, comes down. Uh, I lift up your head. Uh, uh, don't be afraid, uh, but sing uh, until you feel something. I uh, uh, sing uh, until God turns it around. I uh, uh, sing uh, until you feel this anointing. I can't win this here. Uh, it's a family affair uh, that you can stream uh, before the Lord uh, and know uh, that it's going to be alright. Uh, it's a family uh, uh, affair uh, that you can believe uh, uh, God together uh, and wait on him uh, and hold on uh, until your blessing comes. Uh, uh, it's a family uh, uh, affair uh, when you can grab uh, uh, each other's hands uh, and raise them uh, uh, toward heaven uh, and say, Lord, uh, uh, lead us, uh, our precious Lord, uh, uh, take our hands, uh, uh, lead us on uh, and let us sing. Uh, uh, can't we say uh, it's a precious moment uh, when God uh, uh, breaks through uh, in a family prayer uh, and a family faith uh, when somebody uh, uh, in the family uh, begins to feel uh, the move of God uh, when somebody uh, uh, in the family uh, begins to cry uh, uh, real tears uh, uh, when somebody uh, uh, in the family uh, said Lord uh, I thank you uh, uh, 
my kennel in his here. I thank you uh, for touching us. Uh, I thank you uh, for fighting uh, against the devil. Uh, I thank you uh, for freeing us uh, to worship you. Uh, I in spirit, uh, I am in truth. Uh, I thank you uh, that you brought my son uh, uh, back from addictions. Uh, I thank you uh, that you raised my daughter when she was sick uh, and couldn't get well. Uh, I thank you uh, that you've been uh, a bridge uh, over troubled waters. Uh, I thank you uh, that you were there uh, when we didn't know uh, uh, what to do. Uh, I thank you uh, that you keep on uh, uh, making a way. Uh, that you keep on uh, uh, blessing us. Uh, that you keep on uh, uh, bringing the family uh, uh, back together. Uh, uh, we're together uh, uh, because we know how to believe. Uh, uh, we're together uh, uh, because we know how to pray. Uh, 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 we're together uh, uh, because you're there for us. Uh, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, uh, I've got to close, uh, uh, but I've got to tell you, uh, uh, it's time uh, uh, to believe. Uh, uh, what Jesus said, uh, uh, I can't wait to say, uh, uh, it's time uh, uh, to have confidence uh, uh, and assurance uh, uh, that things will uh, 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 work out. Uh, 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 you may uh, uh, be searching uh, 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 for a job, uh, uh, but I came to tell you uh, uh, that God is able uh, uh, and things will uh, 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 work out. Uh, uh, you need to operate uh, 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 with faith uh, uh, and confidence uh, 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 with boldness uh, uh, that when you show up uh, 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 God will show up too uh, 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 I can't wait to say uh, 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 it's time uh, 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 to believe uh, 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 that you can overcome uh, uh, the difficulties uh, uh, and struggles uh, 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 of this world uh, uh, the writer says wait uh, 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 on the Lord uh, 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 be of good courage uh, uh, and he will uh, 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 strengthen your heart uh, 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 your miracle uh, uh, is in the Lord's hand uh, uh, and I'm glad about it uh, uh, it's not in my neighbor's hand uh, uh, it's not uh, 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 in my friend's hand uh, uh, but it's in uh, uh, the Lord's hand uh, 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 that's where my miracle is uh, 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 that's where your blessing is uh, uh, it's in uh, uh, the Lord's hands uh, 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 your blessing uh, uh, is in the steps uh, 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 that you take uh, uh, when the Lord uh, 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 speaks his word uh, 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 what will you do uh, uh, when the Lord says go uh, uh, and it's alright uh, 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 what will you do uh, uh, when it tells you uh, uh, that according to your faith uh, 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 I'll be it unto you uh, 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 well uh, uh, what will you do uh, uh, when it turns around uh, uh, and says somebody uh, 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 touch me uh, 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 I can't do this here uh, 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 what will you do uh, 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 when the Lord tells you uh, uh, that I've spoken uh, uh, and it is so uh, uh, well this is uh, uh, what you need to do I gotta quit your uh, heart uh, uh, it's time uh, uh, to step in uh, uh, to what God has for you uh, 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 yeah Yes, uh, uh, somebody said, uh, uh, I got a new role uh, uh, and a new position. Uh, uh, I came to tell you uh, uh, that it's time uh, uh, to step in uh, uh, to what God has for you. Uh, uh, I can't wait to say, uh, 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 step over uh, 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 your doubts. Uh, 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 step over uh, 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 your fears. Uh, 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 step uh, uh, until your faith uh, uh, comes alive. I can't even say I step on until things I turn around. I hear the words of Jesus and believe. I let me say that again. I hear what Jesus said and believe. Can you say thank you, Lord? Or open your heart and your spirit. To the words uh, of the Lord. Uh, I got 
got good news for you. Uh, there is a miracle uh, in your future. Uh, there is uh, a blessing uh, that's on the way. Uh, I feel this Holy Ghost. Uh, there is uh, a turnaround uh, uh, coming uh, uh, in your life. Uh, can you say yes, Lord? Uh, I yes, uh, believe. Uh, what Jesus said. Uh, now go ahead and praise the Lord uh, uh, for that miracle. Uh, uh, go ahead and praise the Lord uh, for the way being made. Uh, uh, go ahead uh, and thank the Lord uh, for the healing uh, uh, of your body. Uh, uh, go ahead uh, and thank the Lord. Uh, uh, it's already, uh, uh, already done. I uh, uh, say yes, Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me say this again. I feel this by the Holy Ghost. There is a miracle in your future. There's a victory right around the corner. <laughs> There's a praise in you that is ready to break out. Glory to God. It's time to believe God. Look at somebody near you and say, it's time to believe God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you've been trying to work it out. You've been trying to fix it. But it's time to believe God. Woo. Believe God, believe God, believe God. Believe that he will deliver you. And set you free. Yeah. Believe in Jesus. And you will receive the help that you need. Believe what Jesus said. And go. Function. Operate. Move on as he commands. Be blessed of God today. Be encouraged. By his words and by the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Believe what Jesus, Thank you, Jesus. says. Yeah. Sure. Carry out his mm. commands. Mm. Surrender to him. Thank you, Lord. Let God lead you and guide you. Let him bring you to salvation. To water baptism in Jesus' name. Receiving of the Holy Spirit. Let God do this for you. But you must believe what Jesus says. God bless you today. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.